FTP pair is like 20%, right? So it, 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 it reads that data and it knows what the biggest pairs are. It weights them accordingly. Um, based on their size, um, and then it takes the, the average across those for that period of time. Okay, that sounds good. And then, but you said it's PulseX, but it's also uh, any other DEXs? Or? No, uh, just PulseX, because, like, Richard's pools are, the like, they're the biggest, right? So Yeah, they're massive, and they're going to probably stay massive. I yeah, of course. A lot of people trust them. So even though, like, you'll, you'll find tokens on PHUX or wherever, it's like, I just don't see uh, Richard not having thick liquidity on his thing, you know? Well, as long as the ink coin is 8 bucks or 10 bucks, I mean, my goodness, there's going to be a lot of liquidity. But, it, like, you guys are talking about Pulse X, and, you know, everybody's impatient for single-sided staking. I'd like to see it. And, and the reason we're all kind of impatient is because... Um, People just want to be able to do things with their tokens. With Hex, you can stake it, you know, which to some is kind of boring, right? But you, you, you do something with it, right? Pulse, there, there's a few different things you could do with Pulse, whether you want to validate or use, you know, other lending protocols or, or whatever, right? You, you can do stuff with PulseX. There's nothing you could do with it besides hold it. And the problem with that is not that holding is bad. It's just that people get impatient. People and don't know how to use it. They don't know what to do with it. If they yeah, know what to do with it, like, they, they don't really need single sided staking. They don't even know that. Right. I think the the majority of the you know population out there become so impatient when the price runs up that they, you know, they want to sell for something else that they can play with. So how do you how do you prevent that? And the the whole idea behind, um, well, let's create a system that people can lock up their pulse X, um, is to literally that whole never selling narrative um and yeah you can't prevent all liquidations but ironically like over in liquid loans there's only been like 120 liquidations or something the entire time it's been launched so it's yeah and it's been pretty low um there are redemptions that happen that's uh something that of course the community has to talk about um but you know people you know, generally keep themselves away from liquidations. So what that means is people are not selling their pulse or people are not selling their pulse X now with their own protocol, uh, $58 million for the pulse X or 750 or something. What? Isn't that more? You said 58 million. Yeah. So it's three days old almost. And has fifty eight million dollars worth of pulse X locked up or seven what is that? So that's better so that's better than liquid loans, right? Well as far as quantity. Total quantity. In, in time period. So it took liquid loans like ninety days to reach that. Right. Is that no different to, nothing to do with price appreciation though of the asset, the underlying asset. It's also possible to like we have to report the price of pulse X, but how we do that um, can also be changed. But I don't think it, and that's changed through a, a, a time lock process and a multi sig process, but um, like we would never use Coast, I don't think. There's there's some issues at the moment with Coast that um, just make it a little yeah. bit too risky. So your price feed is for the Pulse X price in dollars, right? Correct. Yeah, Pulse X has a lot of Pulse X, <laughs> so it's a pretty stable feed, I would imagine. Yeah, so Pulse paired to Pulse X has like sixty million dollars worth of liquidity. Yep. It's so, so, but then when you look at Pulse X paired to stable coins, there's actually not a whole lot. So imagine this, right? If we had built a feed that that takes a price directly from Pulse X paired to Die, it would be a relatively thin pool that eh, I mean could be manipulated a little bit. Um, but that's not actually the true accurate price because there's arbitrage that would happen uh, relatively quickly after some manipulation but the the safest way to get the price the true price of pulse x is to derive the price of pulse first because it has the deepest liquidity to stables and then because the there's 60 million dollars of that paired back to pulse x then you just derive the ratio and now you know your price of pulse x and that's the true price of pulse x does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hundred percent ratio, and I imagine those pairs are uh, going to get larger over time. I mean, as far as U.S. dollar terms, it could be a billion dollars in the pool. Who knows? Yeah, if Richard keeps it's pumping it, and we stable. keep getting new users, that they're just going to get bigger. But eventually, the narrative might flip towards pulse. The native asset should, should always do better, I th in yep. my opinion, anyway. Probably, because yeah. everybody yeah. needs pulse. Yeah.
So this is like a race to a finish line. And after PulseX goes past the finish line, it starts to look expensive. And when it looks expensive, you're probably going to buy Pulse, not PulseX. But the easiest layup in crypto, layup, dude, was PulseX under sac rate. No, I should have. No, it was ink. 25 X. It already did, but but uh, after Ink, the easiest layup was Pulse X because what if what if what if the easiest layup is still Ink? Well, wait a second. I'm talking about Pulse X. We just this is 24 hours. I'm just saying let's let's just glow in the light of Pulse X. That was I should have sold all my hex I, that's liquid for Pulse X and all my Teddy for Pulse X, and I would have been able to gotten so much more you have to be 10 steps ahead of everyone else man you're like you're still thinking like one step behind no you do no you do have to be 10 steps ahead i mean the easiest layup in crypto was richard's gonna get pulse x to sacrifice (laughs) i mean at your computer when that went up yesterday was i at my computer when it went up yes okay because otherwise you know you wouldn't even have what should i have done i mean you mean you were at your computer and you didn't take advantage of it wow um i know guys i i was kind of just spectating i be honest with you i, I should have done something do you, own, just... do you own pulse x at all no no you might find an asset that's going up faster than it and buy that asset and then you can acquire the asset so if you want a lot of hex maybe you buy some pulse x it runs up faster and then you can swap some for hex that's what he's doing with ether and now in bitcoin he got more ETH. Now he can get more big for it. That's that's what I'm thinking. Keep going with that. So you're saying that in, instead of having hex right now, have pulse X or have pulse? No, I actually said ink, but you weren't listening. But pulse X. Oh, okay. Might might be might be a second runner up. Maybe, but eventually it's going to switch to pulse. Probably if pulse X gets expensive. Yeah. So you're what you're saying is like hex is the Bitcoin, right? Ink is ten percent of pulse. 10%. So it can pump. People don't get it. It can go to $250. And you're going to be like, oh, wait, that was such an obvious move at 10 bucks." Yeah, it was. Richard said 25x. You didn't listen to him. He said, it are you t- going... What do you mean? He said, are you going to miss it again? He asked you, are you going to miss it again? What are you saying ink is 10% the pulse for? I'm just looking at like market cap of user control supply. It's something around those realms. Have you done any analysis, hex level on on in ink have you done like any like research at all other than asking friends um i have not i've only listened the, the number one thing i've done for ink is just looked at watched money gang cryptos videos oh my god that's it oh oh uh, do, do you hold no ink i have i have a couple thousand ink okay Uh-oh. there you go not enough but not enough i know teddy's up right now i have not taken my initial investment out now <laughs> I don't, I don't stop putting the guy in the goddamn boiler, bro. Let him be. What's a boiler? Hey, hold your what? teddy. Yeah. Do whatever you want to yeah, do. Hold teddy forever, but it would be interesting yeah. to have a little bit of pulse X, you know, just in case something good happens. Oh, I, I, I here's what I've, I, I understood this last night, guys. Like, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm nothing but honest. I was watching the pumps. I, I just didn't really, I wanted to be swinging and going into pulse X, but then I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And I, I, maybe I, do, I need to know the ratio. So, hey, I'm just natural, dude. I'm just human. I make mistakes. I was just watching. I was having fun. I was like, look, it's a magic carpet ride. We, you know, I was just having fun, dude. And how did you know why? It's not going to hey, be the last one. Someone? It's it's not going to be have the last one, the, guys. Have you and seen the pulse all, ratio to Teddy? Have you even? We're all going to be rich. I might not be as rich as I could be, but I'm okay. It's fine. It's okay. Whatever. You know, I'm just not a financial guy. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. You know, <laughs> so it's like Aww. I just don't want to lose my crypto. Aww. I just don't want to lose my crypto. Aww. I just want to pinch your cheeks. I probably, I mean, anyway. So it was my first hair, little witness. It was my first. It, it was my first observation of Richard Hart giving a magic carpet ride to, to one of his tokens and oh, stuff. Dude, this was any of it. I was like, this is no, this is nothing. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Well, I, actually, this I is the second wave. Me. Remember when Pulse was at four and then it pumped all the way up? 
he did this already yeah. once. This is the second week. It is. You're right. This is this. Yeah. This is the second week. Are you going to yeah, miss? You're the, right. Are you going to miss the third one? That's the big question. What's the third one going to be? Hex. P hex. Pulse. P hex. Hey guys, <clears throat> what what's the third one going to be? P hex. Ink to ten thousand x. Um, I, I I don't understand why you say that ink is ten percent to pulse. Does anybody know this? I was just Does everybody. No, it's this? just I just threw the market cap of like two billion versus two hundred million idea. You know, it's not quite there, but you know, just round ballpark ideas. So ink can pump a lot faster. Oh, I think so ink, ink, will be, ask, ink, ink will be scary as soon as people understand. Most people in this game look at market cap and token circulation, and there's such a fine out circulation still. It, it was designed to be a sleeper, actually, <laughs> if you think about it. It was designed to be not fun to look at and not interesting. It doesn't need more. I can <laughs> paid for my whole stack. You don't even have to buy it. You're just creating it. For free. One more. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've got one more dump on pulse, and pulse will one more dump down. Pulse pulse x ratio, and pulse will pull back against it. The pulse ratio, okay, not dollars. Okay, I'm, nine dollars. I'm looking at pulse x to, to to pulse. Yeah, pulse x to pulse right now. Well, pulse. To, if you look at pulse to pulse x, okay, and you we've got I do harmonic patterns, and we're in the middle of we're in the middle of what they call a bearish bat on pulse to pulse x. So. It's got a little bit further to fall before that pattern completes. Then pulse should rally against um, pulse X. Okay, that makes that's very good analysis right there. I haven't heard anybody say that because isn't it like three to one the ratio? We're less than that at the moment. <laughs> it went to two to one yesterday. Yeah. How do I find that number out exactly? Deck screener. Yeah. Okay. So it says it says we're two point one right now. We're at two point one six nine nine. Okay. So one pulse is two point one six. Oh man, it's like we're doing pulse. homework, and it's like yeah, I'm sorry. Nine 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 nine. And I think it's got. I think not definite. But I think it's got to go down to one point one point eight. I wish one point seven nine. Wow. So you're saying Chris so you could get thirty percent more of his bag without trading? <laughs> yeah. Not thirty percent. Twenty ten ten, fifteen, twenty percent. Well from where we are now. Get the get the old tape measure out. That's just not enough for me to move any of my bags though, to be honest. Seventeen point two two percent more. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm still you know, I'm a lot heavier on pulse than I am pulse X and ink. I'm a lot more pulse, but I'm accumulating no, I'm the, the other two. I'm accumulating the other two little by little. It's fine. You know, whatever happens, happens. But pulse is everybody's, everybody needs it. So eventually it'll come home to roost. Yeah, but if that happens, the next. Don't. You if that, hit if all time if high. If, yeah, but if this plays out, you got you need to be in pulse next. Because if you think of that, if you just basic Fibonacci levels, if it goes from there to there, you know, I mean, you're looking at going back up to 3.52. Yep, we have to surpass the all-time high. So if people are so pumped up about full sex, you're going to get a rip-roaring pulse and you're going to miss the next wave. But that's fine. I mean, you can, yeah. you can just hold, like, I'm holding, I'm not going to move my pulse into pulse X for 17% or 50%. I don't care. The only thing is, we sat here last night, and we were just we saw we were saying earlier we just saw this playing out. <laughs> looked at the chart, and you can see it's gonna dump. You can see it's gonna dump. Yeah, so so, much so epic. It was it. Well, we we're saying it's as if Richard was in the room last night. There was a lot of people in here, so I bet he was an alt. I wish I would have sold at the top, dude. Just my whole bag. This isn't I, the I was... top, Axelov. It's the beginning of the bull market. Relax. I wish I would have sold with. Pulse X hit sac rate and then no. it came down. I, no. I wish I would have done that and then I would have had an extra 40 grand. You're starting to sound just like, like, wait, you don't even own Pulse X, so you can't make 40 grand off nothing. But it, but it draw, it drug down all my assets because, you know, Teddy Bear is a pseudo meme. It's not really just a straight meme coin. It 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 gets pulled up and down. Um, Hex, I have Hex next is my biggest bag. It and it it does the same thing. It gets pulled up and down. Ink, same thing gets pulled up and down. And they're all tied together. You can see it like a wave theory. Uh, I wish I would have just had the 
like the foresight, fortitude to be like, okay, when I hit sack, I'm going to sell 25%. And then if it goes above sack, I'll hit another, you know. But you don't, who, you don't who own do you any, know that does that? No, you don't own any. So how could you sell? No, because my whole portfolio went up. Oh, you mean sell I don't everything. Own everything? You mean sell everything? Right. Yeah. I don't. I mean, it's probably better to just have like literally just have have bear, but I have hex and ink. Those are my three big bags. That's it. And pulse. So it's like okay, one, two, three, four. Um, but then, like, do you have the balls to? If you get out of the market. And it goes to the you know upside. If it goes up to the upside, just buy back in. And okay, so, you might lose. So hex love, hex love. Go look at a chart of 2020 Ethereum right at about March, April, right about this time period. Look at that chart. Watch how ETH goes from like 100 bucks, 200, 300. Then it crashes down a little bit. Okay, great. You earn a couple X. Do you really want to sell your ETH at 200 bucks? Because that's how you sound right now. You're selling ETH at 200 bucks, thinking, oh, I'm going to get, I'm going to buy it back at 100 and maybe it doesn't go, it goes to 4,800. Why do you care about selling it at 100 or 200 or 300? It doesn't make any sense. To double my bag? No. Because you I, don't care about doubling, you care about holding. You hold it for the full 4,880 bucks. You don't try to double and lose all your ETH. That's the dumbest move on earth. Well, I mean, I saw my bag go up to like X number of dollars and then it came and then I, I, I cut I, the I, dollars like, out, man. You got to cut that dollar thing out. You're, you're okay, trying to right get here. quantity. Yeah, it's a ratio. It's a quantity. Dollars comes later. Later. Okay. Yeah. I don't want even, I don't even want dollars. I'm just, I'm just, I do not want any, uh, I, here's what I've been telling my family. Um, the, I told my, my mentor who, who owns a ton of real estate in my, in, in my area. I sent him another screenshot before yesterday's pump. And then three hours later after the pump, I, I sent him another screenshot and I go in, I, I go, you know, this is how, how it works. He's going to figure out a way he to goes, do it show somehow. Me. I don't know how, but he'll like, yeah, you should probably not. Yeah. I don't know. And he goes, he goes, show me the money. And I go, okay, it's not time to show you the money. This is, you don't pull crypto out. Bitcoin has a, f a birthday every four years. And this is a good thing to say. Let me, t let me hear your criticism. Bitcoin has a birthday every four years. You don't want to wait four years and, and just right before the birthday, don't go to the party, right? But you don't want to get in a car you want crash to go to the party. the party begins, right? You don't want to, like, before you arrive at the party. Yeah, I like so the car crash. Like, just, I like the analogy of a car crash. That sounds more accurate. But anyway, I, I think that was a, he understood. You will remember this conversation and you will wish that you listened. And I'm not even telling you to buy anything specifically. I'm just saying you should be careful. That's the one thing. Like, you could get a lot and you could get rid of it early. Or you could get a little and you could hold it a little bit longer and you can make 10 times as much money. That's part of the problem with people. They're so impatient. They're going to lose everything. Move it to the side for a second. I really want big bags of uh, my new, my, I'm not going to be buying any hex. But you know what? When I say that, I might, I might be jinxing myself because he's going to pump hex too, guys. Who? You know? Who are you talking about? I don't know. Like maybe the guy that pumped it last night. Ooh. You mean what Richard? Is? Maybe. What if, so. what if? I mean, like, we don't know what's going to happen. the situation. I mean, everyone knows what's up. Like, he came out and he was like, did you like it or not? Like, you think Richard made a few phone calls and called his buddies? Hey, yo, can you do me a favor? And can you be like half an hour on your computer and do some trades in regards to that, I'm just, bro? I'm just wondering, like, is the SEC like going to look at Fosha? the chart? Like, what if the SEC is like, my goodness, it's that sack rate, man. How can we prosecute this guy? Everybody made money. It's so weird. That's what I've been saying. You put this, it's rough. It's like, man, Pulse is up. Hex is up. Everything's making money. You got SAC funds are being utilized for the community. Hmm. Let's prosecute this guy. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. You're right. I guess. I mean, a lot of people forget about that. I guess that's that. bullish. I mean, there's so much that you got to think about here. Like, there's so many. Th those view pulls. I think, yeah, the buy and burn. Like, you guys got to remember that. Like, you know, remember that thing? Pretty neat. I mean, it, it, it's it's appealing to me to just have two tokens. In, in that's a fine. Way. Yeah, like, that's, that's yeah, of okay. course, I have I Hex. But, I mean, I can also, also it's hex, liquid Hex. I can there's just... the Hex Pulse pair, Hex Love. You don't have to buy nothing. You already have Hex. You have Pulse. You just yep. put them together and shove them in. There you go. Boom. Free. 
Uh, I love that's what this ecosystem's so cool, dude. And if he pumps hex next, if he pumps hex you can't, PX like, next. Just, you can't bet on that though, because that you know, who knows, that might not happen. You gotta be ready for any situation. It might happen in the middle of twenty twenty five. Yeah. So I think between all the, the farms, you know, probably making I don't know, three, four hundred bucks a day and stuff. But I'm using that to still build the R H farms. Um you know, and go and then go into like drip X and stuff like that. But it'll be cool to build it to a point where um, you can just live off the yield, right? I can treat it as my uh, welfare. It could be my my government. So like before, I was pulling out like I'll pull like three hundred bucks a week still, just to kind of help me out. Like it, it helps me out to pay bills and stuff for sure. So I'm not out there just freaking flossing or fronting on in crypto, but it's really helping me make ends meet. And that's why you guys probably hear me always say, "Well, you can't buy groceries because I really need crypto to help me freaking pay groceries and stuff." But the end goal is to just find a way to replace my entire income with the stuff. And um, if I can get like, I don't know, two years in the bank, um, all the bills paid for, including mortgage and stuff, then maybe that's when I can consider doing crypto full time. But until then, I'm just stacking and grinding. Maybe it's too big of a goal, but that's my goal. No, man, that's that's a good goal, man. I've been, that's a 100% doable goal because I kind of been doing it for the last four years. Oh, awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah only live off of crypto like i've been living off of crypto for four years i'm technically waiting until like year six and then like i'm technically kind of invisible to the irs well they can go back as far as they want if something if they suspect something uh, they, uh yeah well we, we don't need to go any further no but that's awesome man that's that's great to hear i mean that's what a success story is it, at least to me right yeah it's totally doable i would sit here and say the easiest way to go about getting your goal is um it's a simple math all you got to do is, um, yeah. um, how much, like you could either do it off your yearly salary or technically how much you think you would need to earn off of crypto because it would be none, it would be no different as like working. So if say you, you're, you're technically earning, uh, I, I don't know how, like how much you make weekly working your day to day job, Yeah, but it would be just like that. So, cause that's yeah, yeah. basically what I did. I just took. I made the sacrifice. I was making, um, I was making like 250 a year. And then, so I took, I said, I, I said to myself, I said, you know what? I'm just going to dollar cost half of this. Actually, no, I dollar cost, like, I want to say 75% of what I made in one year. Cause I didn't, cause when I, when I, I, when I did the math, I didn't really need to live off of that much. And at, at this time, at that time, I'm, I'm telling you, I was single, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was single and I was just focused on making that money because, like, I had nice. girls telling me, like, yeah, I, I, bro, you don't never want to be no less of a man, bro, literally. So I, right. I, get, I, I never wanted to be two things in life, heartbroken and broke. And I experienced both things at the same time. And, bro, that would drive any lesser man to, to off themselves. So I'm telling you right now, those are the two things you never want to be. You either yeah. want to be heartbroken and rich because you can always go do some stupid stuff to make you forget that you're heartbroken. You see what I'm saying? Yep. But I digress. So literally for me, for me, it took 250, it, it took $250,000 and I would, I made way more than that, but it just took 250,000, but you could just, just on the interest alone. From two hundred and fifty thousand, you could like say even just earning five percent, like yeah, like that's, you could live off of that monthly easily. So that's it. You just need to find a good project that gives you a reasonable yield, and you're good to go. Yeah, and the reason I say my target is two years is in case I have one bad year. I'm not all super panicked, right? If after that one year, like I blow through a year and not making it, then I know I have one year to figure it out. At which point, you know something has to change yeah i did that too i was like i was kind of panicking but i was like dude you only panic if you haven't acquired knowledge that's it the more knowledge you acquire you would put those those fears won't creep up as much because because those fears are just insecurities um showing themselves because you don't have the knowledge and the experience in yourself to know that you can generate this income regardless of whatever the market does because like again i just went to two two bear markets i spent the equivalent of two hundred and fifty thousand in crypto that i have to make back well I, i'm already halfway making it back but you see what i'm saying like yeah, I got you. you're gonna have to experience those same things as well so, well thank you for sharing that so that's all leverage though you know if you have enough leverage you can you can make it through anything yeah 
Yeah, technically, yes. It's pretty much leverage. I, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so you don't have to even have faith in yourself. You just have to know you have the leverage. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, but you gotta just have leave, faith. Don't don't leave yourself. Don't leave. Don't you know? Don't like, take a, a long walk off a short pier. Yeah, because like again, I needed a bank to replace Celsius. That's why I love freaking liquid loans, yo. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, liquid loans. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You're, so for yeah. me, liquid loans replaced Celsius. <laughs> if you're over leveraged, you know, you like one hundred. You're like two hundred fifty percent leverage. <clears throat> Then you you don't have nothing to worry about. No, you gotta be five hundred. Five hundred? Yeah. Yeah. When you get cool. to that point, it, you you can make mistakes at that point. Yeah. And then you have a million. Say you had a million dollars earning six percent. Would that replace your 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 income? Oh my god! I tell you right now, it's a calculator. Bro, we'll just that's what I said. I just told you guys about the guy who had a who had a million bucks, half a million in PLS, half a million in E in in the farm, and earning seventeen thousand bucks every seven days so literally if you park if yeah, you pop yeah. if you park away a million bucks you know what i'm saying you could be making you just, you just yeah you just need the million bucks that's the only problem <laughs> yeah that's it you just need to work up to the million bucks yeah what you gotta do that's like oh, what is that? that's like oh chase 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 uh jp morgan chase family or right. the, the kennedy family the first generation had to all be murderers you know then after that oh we're legal <laughs> yeah blame grandpa i like the way you put it that way <laughs> Dude, no, actually you're right because history look half of like like the mercedes and the bentley's the car dealerships back of of of, of now dude they all made freaking like tanks and 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 all of that in world war ii that's how they became so popular today yeah well. yep like um, well, you, you, know, you know, that's a, that's another thing. When when they say the dollar, they're just printing dollars. They're actually wrong. The dollar is backed by something. You know what it's backed by? It's backed by the U.S. military. Ooh, that's what the dollar is backed by. That's actually interesting. No, he's actually kind of right. Yeah. No, 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 I say that's interesting. That's like, well, that's pretty deep. They're not. They're that's not why. Just that's why they're not just printing. They're bill. raping and pillaging while they're printing. No, yes, that's why they passed a bill for like a couple trillion dollars to replenish all of the military bases like in certain parts well in all the war war stricken parts of of the world yeah they have like, a form they have a formula that works man believe it i'm revolution now that was actually pretty deep i'm gonna use that next time because always the arguments like the government just prints money out of thin air it's not backed by anything so well actually it is backed by something the military you know uh you know, you know they say yeah. they, 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 reason why they say we have the strongest military in the world <laughs> they, they, as long as they got that military they can print as much money as they want it will take like what six six to seven nations to gang up on us <laughs> to even do a dent yeah man the u.s is gangster the u.s has the u.s has like 11 um aircraft carriers the next closest nation has like two maybe maybe one or two correct dude we have mega subs, right? These subs could take out entire continents by themselves. 